Awesome experience. Well, I didn't go to bed till 12:15, but I got up about 8:15. I wish I could sleep later, but I'm so used to being up by seven, you know. So it's hard for me to sleep like past eight or 8:15 or whatever. Well, actually, I think I woke up more like 7:50, and then I laid there till 8:15. But I still got almost eight hours of sleep. But yeah, eventually I can train myself to sleep later. Because I want to go back on the night shift, eventually. But that may be a while, and then I wonder how long it would take me to get used to it. Probably, I, I don't know, maybe several months. Like, I don't know. Because I like the schedule where you sleep from five, let's see, five uh, a.m. Well, no, actually, this time around, I probably wouldn't be that extreme. I'd probably sleep from like 3.30 a.m. to about 1.30. That's what I would sleep. But back in the day when I worked second shift, I'd be like going to bed at like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. But that was kind of extreme. But normally I'd go to bed by 4.30 a.m. But yeah, someday I'd like to get back on that shift. Wouldn't you say you are? Yeah! Yeah, me would. But anyway, so like, it's kind of funny. So I was walking around this little mini mansion. It was like a little mini mansion. And it was my sister's boyfriend's. Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if she's real. Well, I, I think she's kind of dating him still. But yeah, so it was um, her boyfriend's mansion. But it was just kind of like a smaller mansion. It was still big and fancy, but just kind of smaller. But, um, so I was just walking around the, the, the mansion forever, and then he, he had, um, six or seven friends that were in the mansion, and, like, I can't remember why, but I couldn't wait till, like, they all left, and eventually they did all leave, and then some of my family members came, like, six or seven family members, and, uh, like, aunts. And, uh, and, and uncles and stuff, but, but there were some bizarre things in it. Well, well, one bizarre thing, but anyway, so yeah, so I was walking around this, and, and I was, I was in my town, but downtown, but you know, in the scenario for whatever reason, uh, the boyfriend had been working downtown, uh, you know, in the scenario, he was working downtown. So he wanted to buy his little mansion downtown. So he could, you know, be close to his house and everything and close to work, which, which that, 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 that's kind of funny because that's not even close to what he does or whatever. But anyway, in the scenario, that's what the deal was. And um, so, um, so it just kind of started like where I was walking around like forever and ever. And uh, I was just like observing like all these rooms, I was going in all these rooms and stuff. And, uh, but, uh, so the, the first part, after I started walking around a little while, all of a sudden I wanted to check my mail. I know it's kind of funny because I wasn't living there. I was just visiting. So I wanted to check my mail 
And um, and so this it was so funny. This female male woman, this USPS worker or whatever, she just kind of like came out of nowhere. I, I was in this. Uh, I don't know where I was at exactly. I was just in this room, and there was like six, seven other people, the friends. Like most of them were were, were men, and they were um, you know the the, the boyfriend's friends that were also visiting the, you know, the, his mansion, his mini mansion. And so, um, the, the male man, and she was a woman, she came out and there was all these tables and she, she, uh, it was like these metal boxes. She, she, she sat around all these metal, like little suitcase things. And, uh, and so I was trying to like go get my mail and stuff. And, and I opened it up and I saw all this mail in there and little packages like that was wrapped in plastic. And then I saw some, you know, three or four pieces of, of letters and stuff and, and envelopes. And um, so, so I was trying to get my mail and everything. But for whatever reason, I had walked off. And then when I came back to try to get it, I guess I was just looking in there to see what I had first. And then when I walked off, I came back to try to get my mail and all the little boxes, the metal boxes, she already took up. And and I thought some of Don's friends, I thought, you know, the boyfriend, uh, his name is Don. I thought his friends were still in my, my mail. And so, um, so, um, I was like, I was like, like, where's my mail and everything. But what the deal was, she only came out at specified times. Like she only came out at exact times to hurry up and put all the suitcases around the little metal suitcase boxes for you to go over there and open it up and, you know, and get your mail and everything. And so if you weren't around, she went ahead and put them back wherever she put them in another room or whatever. It was so weird. And, uh, but yeah, I looked in there and it was like so vivid, like three, four, five pieces of, you know, envelopes. And then there was all these, there was, it was stuff full of like mail and then small packages. And I, I didn't even know what was in there. I just couldn't wait to open them up. Like I had no idea what was in there. But then all of a sudden, like I walked off or whatever and I came back and it was gone. But it was just because, yeah. So anyway, she just like came out, you know, only during specified times, bam, to boom, 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 put all the metal little suitcase boxes or whatever, which was actually like, like mail boxes. It was so, so bizarre. And she starts setting around all the tables and stuff. But anyway, okay. So, um, so, so, so then another part of the scenario, um, okay. Okay. So I started walking around, walking around, around. And, but, but, but the funny is like, like towards the end, when I was looking at some of my relatives, they weren't really my relatives. They were, but in the scenario they were, they were like people that I have seen before, um, you know, like around somewhere in stores or whatever, or movies or whatever. But in real life, they weren't really my cousins or, or aunts and uncles or whatever. So that was kind of weird. But, um, so, 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 so after the, the Mel thing, you know, I started walking around and like walking around and start, start, started observing everything. And like I say, it was a fancy, it was like a mansion, but it was just kind of like a smaller mansion. And I'll tell you the end here in a minute. Okay. So then I started going in, I went into a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a little bar area where, where this guy served the, the, uh, what do you call it? The bartender served cocktails. It was like, um, it, well, you wouldn't call it a bar. I don't know what you call it, but there was this big old fancy like room you went in and there was, you know, tables and it was, you know, like where, you know, I mean, it was in a mansion. So you wouldn't really call it a bar, a, a bar. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you'd call it. Um, but it's where they serve cocktails and everything behind the, you know, the, 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 the little glass, uh, dilly bobber, the glass, uh, case. And there was like a man, a bartender, serving drinks and stuff. And it was pretty fancy in there. And a lot of people, quite a bit, a few people, like were in there, I would say about seven or eight. And, um, and so I went up to the, 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 the bartender. Um, well, I guess you, you'd still call it a bar, but that just sounds weird. Because I don't think of a, I think of a bar like as a club, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um. So yeah, but it was a pretty big room. It was a big, big room. 
And so I, it was over there to the left. Like I walked in and over there to the left, there was a bartender. And there was like a glass see-through uh, glass case. And, you know, on top of there, he was serving the drinks and stuff. And, um, and I asked him, um, like, I wanted to see, the, like, 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 like there, was, there were, uh, what do you call it, trinkets and knickknacks and shit in the glass case. And so I asked to see this little box of stuff. And he gave it to me. And like I say, all of this was owned by him, by Don. And he gave it to me and I took it over there and sat down at a table. And I was looking at it and everything. And it, there was like a bunch of jewelry in it. And I was looking at all these jewels and stuff. But some of them looked kind of fakeish. But I was like thinking to myself, like this can't be fake. You know, these can't be fake. Like I wonder if they're real. They can't be fake, you know, because I knew... You know, like, like he probably wouldn't have fake crap in there. But, um, yeah, so I, I saw, like, I don't know, it was, like, bracelets. And I was looking at all the little blue, like, jewels and stuff. And I was thinking to myself, well, like I say, I wasn't really sure if they were real or if they were fake. But I knew, chances are, they probably were not fake. And I started thinking to myself, like, I could easily, like, steal some of this and he would never know. You know what I mean? Like, like, Don would never know. But I did it. But I was just observing the stuff in there. Okay, so, um, and, um, okay, so, so after that, I started walking around, walking around, and, uh, and I was noticing, too, like, how high, you know, the ceilings were. All the rooms were, like, pretty dang big, like, big, 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 big. But it's, like, as far as, like, front, like, the whole mansion, as far as, like, front to back, it wasn't very long. It was just like a little mini mansion. And, um, but, but yeah, the ceilings were super duper high and everything. Okay. And then, um, okay. No, 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 no. This next part is bizarre. Okay. So the next part was, was the most bizarre of all. Okay. So, um, okay, hold on. I'm trying to think if I'm, I just don't want to forget anything. Um, but besides that room that we went in, but anyway, I know I'm probably going to be forgetting some stuff. Because lately I've been getting all these, I, I've been getting really good lucid dreams and everything. Except they were like, but this one was better than the ones I, I, I have been getting lately. But but they were still good, all the ones I've been getting lately. But it's just, um, they would fade away, uh, fade away real fast when I'd wake up or whatever. So that kind of sucks. But anyway... Okay, so so then after the uh, the ordeal with looking at the jewelry jewelry and stuff, okay, so I just kind of um, I went back out the door. I went straight ahead. I went down a small little hallway, and and and, and it looked like this was so bizarre. And then because um, I, I I was curious, you know what I mean? I was just curious. I was there just you know visiting. Don wasn't anywhere around. He was gone um, working or whatever. He was at work basically. But for whatever reason, I was visiting, so I was just like walking around, walking around on my own accord, visiting all the rooms and stuff, and snooping around and stuff. Okay, so I walked down the little hallway, and there was a door, and it said, it said, it, the, 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 there was like a wood plaque or whatever on the door, and it was like all crooked, it was just very crooked, and it said, don't enter. It said, it said, do not enter. It was all crooked. It was like a little piece of sloppy wood that was crooked. And it said, do not enter. And then, it's, and then there was like another piece of wood and it was crooked. And it said ghost room or something. It either said ghost room or like spirit room. But I think it said ghost room. And it was so bizarre. Okay, so then like all of a sudden, as far as I remember... They didn't open the door. As far as I remember, it's like all of a sudden, like a glass, you know, a glass see-through door appeared. You know what I mean? And then what came to the door was like two, well, basically they were kind of like demons. <clears throat> but it was kind of like, well, you know, I guess they were kind of like ghosts, but they were really more like demons. And, um, but this is like so bizarre. Like, um... Well, well, like, like, they, somebody tried to tell me that, like, like, somebody that was roaming around the mansion tried to tell me they were in costumes. 
But when I when I actually went down there and I observed myself, and um, I was gonna open the door or whatever, but they already the two demons or whatever came to the door, and like I say, there was glass. It, all of a sudden, like I don't remember them actually opening the door, but anyway, it was like a glass, you, you know, see through win window that covered the whole door basically appeared. Well, I knew like when I saw what they looked like, it's like. I knew they were not humans that were in a costume, but that's what some of the other people thought. And that's what they told me. But when I saw them like, Oh my God, I, like I knew they were not humans in a costume, but, but it's like the other, some guys, the guys that were visiting some of Don's friends, they were trying to like tell me that, but it was like so bizarre. Like, okay, as far as I remember, they didn't say anything. Uh, they maybe did. I just forgot. But as far as I remember, they didn't say anything. But it's like when there was two of them. When they came to the door and then all of a sudden I could see them. Okay, there was all this fog all around them. I mean, the smoky white fog. Foggy smog, like all around, all around, all around the room. Encasing the room or whatever. I don't know if that's the right word. But encasing the room. And, um, and, uh, <clears throat> okay, so when they both came to the door, they, they also, it's like they both, uh, it was almost like, it, but it wasn't a hazmat suit. It was almost like these big old white hazmat suits they had on, but it wasn't. It was just their demon suits or whatever that they, you know, that they, I don't know, that they you know, war or whatever. It was their demon suits or whatever. And then their, their, their heads and stuff was like encased with the hazmat type of, type of, what do you call it? Uh, helmet, helmet. Yeah. It was more like a helmet. They both had these weird helmets on. And, but, and, but like I say, and both of them, they were em emitting all this foggy, white, smoky stuff all around them. But it was also encased um, in the whole in the whole room, and it was just bizarre as hell. And then when I woke up, I was just like, "Wow!" But it was really cool. And uh, but 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 what was on the door? It was just so weird. Like it was all it was so funny. Like I wonder why the aliens do that. They make things kind of sloppy sometimes. Like the the wood plaque was crooked, and it was like "Do not enter," and then another sloppy plaque, and it said ghost room but anyway that was the most bizarre part and then um and i couldn't um i couldn't see like their eyes or mouth or anything like that but it was just creepy as hell and like i say their energy i mean you could tell like the, the energy of them was not freaking humans in a suit you know what i'm saying and i don't really think they were real demons or whatever in the experience it's just the aliens know how to create stuff like that, that feel real and everything, you know, virtual reality characters or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it was bizarre. And, um, but they, it's not like they seem very, I mean, the energy of them were like horrid, horrid, but it's not like they seem dangerous or anything, but it was just kind of like, it's kind of like they were loners and they wanted to just be stuck in that room and not to be, you know, screwed with or messed with. I mean, it was just bizarre as hell. Okay. So then, um, after that, I just started walking around the mansion more and more and more observing like rooms, big rooms and stuff. And the big old, you know, entryway before you get to all the rooms and stuff, the hallway, whatever, the hallway, whatever you call it. And, um, and then it's like, I went into another bar type of place where they served, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cocktails and stuff. And that's where um, I saw all, okay, and that's where I realized all of the friends, Don's friends were gone, and then my family members started to appearing. There was about six of them, like aunts, uncles, some cousins. But like I say, as far as I remember, there wasn't really any, like in my real life, um, there, there wasn't any real life, um, you know, people in there it was like people that I kind of knew or have seen before or, or neighbors or something like that they, they were my my family members in the scenario and then we started talking and stuff talking 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 and then finally 
uh, finally, like one of my friends was with me, and I can't remember who it was. Um, but like, but it almost seemed like it could have been my sister's friend. But anyway, the scenario was kind of like she was my friend, and she was w with me, and and we and I was talking to you know like, like my 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 aunts and my uncles, and we all started to leave the uh, the, the mansion, and we went out the door, we walked out the door. And uh, like I say, in the scenario, I was in my hometown, but downtown. And and so, and, and the friend was like, well, I don't know if I want to move to this town and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, you know, it's not a bad town. And, and by this time, we were already outside the mansion. And then when I looked back, that's when I noticed... You know, the, the mansion on the outside wasn't very attractive. That's when I noticed it was just a big old mansion, a mini mansion inside of an old, old, old building. An old building, but, you know, it had been reno renovated to be a mansion. But, yeah, and, and so when I looked at the building, you know, when I looked at the mansion, I was like, wow, you know, that makes sense. That's why it doesn't actually, you know, that's why it's not that big. It was just this big old mini mansion in this, this old big building. You know, it was just one big old building, but inside was this mini mansion, and it was Dawn's, you know, um, you know, like when I looked behind me. And then when I looked straight ahead, there was all these other buildings, and it just, it did not, it was, the whole energy was totally, like, different. It was totally, like, not, it didn't feel anything like this town at all, or downtown, or whatever. But, you know, it felt like a different dimension and stuff. And a different town, even though in the scenario it was supposed to be downtown and this town that I lived in. But, I mean, I know I'm forgetting some stuff because, like I say, lately I've been getting nothing. I mean, I've been getting good stuff, but it's just a... Uh, but like I say, this one was a little better because it wasn't so in the deep dream state. Whereas all those other lucid dreams I've been getting were a little more in the deeper dream state. This one was a lot better as far as, you know, it wasn't so in the deep dreamer state. But... Like I said, I know I'm forgetting some parts, but that's pretty much um, uh, all the main stuff was the postwoman and, you know, the jewelry box and, and the cocktails and everything, going into those fancy rooms, the cocktail rooms and stuff. And But like I said, the most bizarre was visiting the, the ghosts. Um, but they, you know, they felt more like demons than ghosts, you know what I'm saying? But um, it, it was it was weird. Okay, so, uh, but, 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 but I know, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I talked, you know, a little bit with some people and stuff, but I can't remember what I said. So I know I'm forgetting a little bit of stuff, but anyway, it was a cool experience. But, but yesterday, yeah, like yesterday, I'm just going to mention this. It wasn't really a big, long, lucid dream or anything, but it was bizarre too. Like totally bizarre. Okay, so so basically, and I think what what triggered it, what why the aliens, um, it's probably Joel giving give me all these exper experiences too, by the way. But I think the reason why, uh, they they or he or whatever gave me that experience yesterday, was because I was watching Rick Steves, you know, and, and all those, uh, or actually no, it wasn't Rick Steves. It was those other people that go to, like, like they visit other countries and then they. They're like walking along and they see all these uh, shops and stuff. So that's what it was kind of like. But Okay, so, so, so yesterday. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, yeah. The funny thing is the night before that experience. So that was okay. So two nights ago, I was telling like Joel. Joel or whatever, I was just trying to give him ideas, uh, give me ideas because, you know, on, on, on those shows, like those traveling shows, they, they were in Africa and some other places. So I was like, you know, take me to Africa. And they've taken me to Africa many, many times. Um, an out-of-body experience, Africa, and then the other two experiences were complete OBE VRs. But um, that first one I had back when I was um, 32, that was a true... Like, bam, shoot off astrally, that split second but before you fall asleep and start astral traveling. And then through the black galaxy and then boom, plop down in Africa. That was a true out-of-body experience. But the other two or three, that was like OBE VRs. But, um, but anyway, so, so, 
So basically, and like I said, there's probably other parts to it, but it was just kind of a short experience. But basically, okay, so I was walking, I don't even know what country I was in, but I was kind of like walking down the road, and o over there to the left was this woman. Um, she was dark skinned. She was selling, okay, there was about, they were in like a big, I don't know, it looked like a big basket or something, like a big basket sitting on the ground. She was selling like little babies. And I was like, I was thinking in my head, are those stuffed animals? I mean, are those real? And I walked over to her and she was like, she handed me one of the babies, but it wasn't a baby. It was actually, they were young adults. And it was so bizarre. They were young adults. And um, so I held one of the little, over on my right arm, my right hand or whatever, right arm. I held one of the little babies. They were only about 14 inches, uh, 12, let's see, 12 inches. No, I'd say 12 inches. They were only about 12 inches tall and about, oh, just about like five inches wide. And, um, but like I said, but they weren't babies. They were just young adults. And, um, and then, and it almost seemed like a female. And she started like, like, la, 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 like talking to me. And she was like, we only live to be two years old, but I'm three years old. So the one that I picked up was three years old. And she said that we only live to be two years old. It was bizarre. And, um, and, but the funny thing is, um, like all of the, all of them, they, they look really odd. Like they look like Aborigines or something. Their faces were really weird looking or some kind of tribal people that you never see that nobody ever sees, you know, in the world or whatever that they've just discovered or something. And they look real weird, you know, their faces, but yeah. So these little young adults, they look like their faces were, were, were like really weird looking like Aborigines and their skin was like really darkish, brownish, reddish, but it was like bizarre. And she, like I say, she had like at least 18 of them and she was selling them. It was so weird. Uh, she didn't tell me how much she was selling them for, or maybe she did and I don't remember, but it was just weird. And I, like I said, I picked up <laughs> one of them and they seemed really sweet too, but it was like so weird that, you know, she's like, we, we only lived to be two years old, but she happened to be three years old. It's so weird. And like I say, they weren't infant babies. They were little young adults. Very, very little, you know, young adult people. They weren't infants. But, um, but, 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 but I felt like they were, you know, like, like young adults, even though, you know, they didn't live to be older than two or three, if that makes sense. Uh, but, 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 but like I say, their faces were just very odd and, uh, like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like tribal, the weird, the weird people you see in tribes and stuff or like aboriginally or aboriginal or whatever. But, um, but, but that was bizarre. Um, but anyway, I've had some other ones and stuff, but I can't even think right now because I didn't even write them down, but hopefully I get another good one because that one this morning was good. It was good because it was long. It was very long. I mean, it was long. I walked around this mansion. I mean, for a long, long, long time. And like I say, I, when I woke up, I remembered most all of it, but it was just fun, man. Well, thanks for listening.